All right, so today we're going to look at a log equation, solving log equations that look mysteriously like a quadratic, um, especially when there's a degree 2 here. The thing that will throw people is the 5, but we can use our log laws to sort of mold this into a quadratic. So I'm just going to rewrite the first term, and I'm going to use the power law. So in logs, the power law is that if you're logging a power, the exponent on the power can become a coefficient. And that's really enough to expose it for what it really is, which is a quadratic with an inside function, which is a log function. So what some students like to do is they like to do a little substitution. They like to let log x be another letter. So you can let a equal the log of x. You don't have to do it this way, but sometimes it makes it easier. So now you're solving something that looks really familiar. I'm going to move the 14 over to the other side to make it in the form of a quadratic equation. You can either use the formula or um, factorization. I'm going to use factorization here because the numbers are pretty simple. So two numbers that multiply to give negative 14 and add to give negative 5. Um, with a little bit of thought, you'll realize the answers are 7 and 2. Notice we're using the dummy variable a here. Um, the middle sign is positive, sorry, negative, so I want the big number to be negative, positive. And we're almost done here. Notice that a is either negative 2 or a is 7. And now we put the log x back in. So what we take out, we put back in. So if the log of x is equal to negative 2, remember the base is 10 here, it's the common log, then x equals 10 to the negative 2. Same here, if the log of x is equal to 7, then x equals 10 to the 7th power. You can clean these up a little bit, you could write that as 1 over 100. Um, you could expand that out um, as being a 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. It doesn't matter, I'm sure your teacher's going to be fine with it. Also, do make sure that your answers do balance the original equation by plugging them back in. I will tell you, just for the purpose of this video, that they both work, they both satisfy the original equation. So there it is, there's a quadratic. You thought you were out of grade 11 when you got into grade 12 and it keeps coming back all the time. Quadratics are everywhere in the world and sometimes they embody logs. So sometimes you bring grade 11 and grade 12 together or junior math and senior algebra together. All right, if that helps, leave a like and I'll see you in the next video.